In the Middle East, environmental problems are mounting. The Jordan River, for example, has witnessed a severe decline both in water quantity and quality, which has resulted in negative impacts on the river's ecosystem and the surrounding communities, and contributed to the shrinking of the Dead Sea. With increasing severity, the neighbors Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian Authority face the challenge of managing shared natural resources and ensuring sources of drinking water and energy for their populations. The transboundary environmental issues are complex. At the same time, they present an opportunity for peace building in the Middle East. A new generation needs to be trained to create collaborative, interdisciplinary solutions to the region's environmental challenges. To meet this need, in the summer of 2013, the Earth Institute, the Porter School of Environmental Studies at Tel Aviv University, and the Columbia Global Center in the Middle East partnered to create the Regional Environmental Sustainability in the Middle East program. My favorite aspect of the trip was gaining a first-hand perspective and understanding of the transboundary environmental issues that are facing the Middle East. Um, their political implications, the possible negotiations and outcomes that were there. It's one thing to learn about it, but it's another thing to experience it. Led by Columbia professor Beth Fisher Yoshida, this pilot program included nine Columbia University students and five Israeli students from the Porter School. The group spent two weeks in Jordan and Israel, traversing the desert landscape while learning about environmental issues and conservation efforts in the context of the social and political conflict in the Middle East. The students represented an important cross-section of disciplines. Environmental issues span many academic interests, conflict resolution, sustainability management, public health, international affairs, and I think it's great that the Earth Institute had us work together to reinforce the interdisciplinary span that environmental issues have. The diversity in the group allowed students to view the issues through different lenses and to bring valuable perspectives and problem-solving techniques to the table. The whole dynamic, not only between the students, but between the students and the instructors and the organizers, was a very, very, very special dynamic and it was very interesting because everybody came in with their very unique personal perspective on these issues, so managed to, to show you a very wide spectrum of approaches to the same problems and I think that added a lot to the learning experience. Over the two weeks, students covered extensive ground in both Jordan and Israel. Students began in Amman with an orientation at the Columbia Global Center and then traveled to nature reserves in Ajlun, Mujaib, Dana, and Fainan. They learned about potential solutions to Jordan's water crisis, including the Red to Dead Water Project which is meant to bring water from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea and through desalinization provide Amman with drinking water and energy, rehabilitation efforts for the Jordan River, the impact of climate change on the environment in Jordan, and the impact of the Arab-Israeli conflict on regional water collaboration. Through the discussions that students had with different speakers, it became clear that any solution to the water crisis would need to take into account multiple factors. When you start thinking about social implications and the public health issues, economics, uh, how, how are we going to finance this, and it, it becomes a whole different story and you really have to take a holistic approach to any issue that you want to solve. After traveling from the north to the south of Jordan, students crossed into Israel. There they learned about the environmental aspects of the Israeli-Jordan peace agreement and environmental protection on the borders of Egypt, Jordan, Syria, and Israel. They met with Palestinian, Jordanian, and Israeli students studying environmental issues at the Arava Institute and heard their personal stories and perspectives. Students had a unique opportunity to visit Area C of the West Bank and to witness firsthand the water access and wastewater management issues that Palestinians and Israelis face. They learned about the urban planning challenges in East Jerusalem and during a two-day colloquium at Tel Aviv University met with negotiators who were involved in the peacemaking process. Throughout the trip, students reflected on what they were learning and engaged in difficult conversations with one another. What they thought to be true prior to going on the trip changed dramatically. 
I think I naively thought that we could study environmental issues separate of the conflict, but it seemed to me as if the underlying cultural, political, and religious disputes need to be clear before there can be true cooperation. Sometimes you try to separate these issues from the wider reality you live in, but I think it's really important to realize that you cannot separate the environmental problems from the, the wider political reality which we live in. Despite the difficult conversations, students remained hopeful about the future after learning about small-scale projects happening on the ground. My favorite aspect of the trip was to hear about the different programs and ideas of environmental cooperations between Israel and Palestine. And to know that one day when peace agreement will be signed, there are amazing programs waiting to become part of reality. The program undoubtedly changed the lives of the participants, who learned immensely from each other and from the different academics, practitioners, and representatives from government and local NGOs. The 14 students form strong bonds and friendships that will last into the future and several of the students plan to build further from this experience. Right now I'm writing a paper about the Palestinian water economy since the Oslo Accord. So I'm already involving it in my academic life. My intended professional career path involves aiding in conflict resolution with regards to water resource management in the Middle East. So being a part of this unique program in Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian Authority really provided me with an in-depth understanding of the region and the issues that will be invaluable to my future.